Explaining Crypto's Billion Dollar Bridge Problem One of the biggest innovations of the 21st century has been the advent of cryptocurrency, with decentralized finance capabilities providing plenty of appeal for those interested in the so-called currency of the future. However, in the last few months, the allegedly super-secure blockchain network has been victim to numerous hacks that have seen gigantic dollars disappearing from different platforms, siphoned through a type of service called a bridge. But what are blockchain bridges? And is crypto really secure? This is crypto's billion-dollar bridge problem explained. Welcome back to Crypto World. Like and subscribe. Cryptocurrency Concern Cryptocurrency is here to stay. This has been the mantra for digital currency holders who have ridden the crypto wave since the start of the 2010s. The allure of direct peer-to-peer -peer transactions without the scrutiny of governments and central bank controls have provided plenty of use for crypto, from its early roots in dark web transactions to today's NFTs and a parade of crypto options out on the market. There are now over 300 million crypto users worldwide with over 18,000 digital currencies in existence to choose from, ballooning crypto's global market cap to an astounding $1.83 trillion, way more than a lot of countries have in gold reserves. Despite some government crackdowns and the transforming mining pursuits, the trend towards cryptocurrency has shot up to the moon. In fact, some of the government's central banks have already initiated their own versions of crypto adding to crypto's viability no matter the volatility. Through the years, one of the biggest promises of crypto had been its secure manner of transactions through the blockchain network, which a link of multitudes of computers that verify transactions which is particularly difficult to hack due to the immense volume of its code. However, recent events have placed a huge shadow of doubt on crypto secure networks. On March 23, 2022, the Ronin blockchain network, which underlies the massively famous NFT-driven game Axie Infinity, was hit with a hack that saw its attackers disappear with an incredible $625 million worth in cryptocurrency. This hack has been the largest amount of money that had ever been stolen from crypto so far. And apparently, it's not the first of its kind. At the start of 2022, another platform called Wormhole got hacked for close to $325 million. Back up six more months prior, and more than $600 million was stolen from another cross-chain platform called Poly. Although its hacker apparently returned all that money, which is an entirely different story in itself. But how is all this even possible? If crypto runs on secure blockchain networks, shouldn't these hacks even occur? With the innovations that the crypto industry relies on, isn't the security of the blockchain its primary ploy? Apparently, this type of hack that the Ronin platform encountered was achieved from the type of service known as a blockchain bridge. Bridges connect one blockchain to another to affirm the value being sent between them. These hacks have seemingly found a way in between more secure platforms by attacking these bridges itself and in the process, pilfering a deluge of money from under everyone's noses. What is the blockchain bridge? As mentioned, the blockchain bridge connects blockchains to each other as a system for connecting different blockchains existing in the off-chain, meaning not within the blockchain at all to allow users to exchange one kind of coin or token for another. Every cryptocurrency relies on its own blockchain, from Bitcoin, Ethereum, and even all the newer altcoins like Ripple, Solana, and everything else. All these digital currencies rely on blockchains to transact, and these bridges allow blockchains to conduct exchanges based on actual transactions from users worldwide. See, each digital token runs on a separately different blockchain from the rest, which is why you can't send Bitcoin directly to someone with an Ethereum address. To make transactions much smoother, developers built the blockchain bridge, allowing you to send that Bitcoin into a bridge and get Ethereum in return, if that transaction would even keep. This is applied particularly for NFT-driven games, where you might hold a particularly different crypto and need to convert some of what you have into the crypto that applies to the game in order to sign up. 
In the same way, after playing and earning, you can use the same blockchain bridge to convert back your digital currency into a crypto of your choice. This is where the vulnerability of cryptocurrency to hacks now seemingly lie. With hordes of people around the planet currently active in cryptocurrency, the ongoing transactions through different platforms have become more massive than ever. With all the complex requests and other sheer amount of currency volume these bridges can hold, it now seems to be ripe for the taking for ingenious hackers. Blockchain bridges receive incoming transactions in one type of cryptocurrency, then lock it up as a deposit, while releasing an equivalent amount of crypto on another blockchain that you're currently active on. When these blockchain bridges get hacked, hackers are able to withdraw money from one side of the bridge without having to place any crypto in. And it seems from the recent Ronin, Wormhole, and Poly hacks that blockchain bridges could possibly be cryptocurrency's most vulnerable point of entry for these attacks. And considering the more than $1 billion in stolen cryptocurrency, the anxiety caused by this vulnerability is now more real than ever. There's more than $21 billion locked on Ethereum bridges alone, and these attacks make all that money seem fair game to just about any hacker intent at making a run for it. So the question is, is crypto less safe now? Before you put down your crypto curiosity, remember that crypto only started in the 2010s and only became relatively mainstream in the last few years. It is still at a relatively young age and is still under continuous development. New innovations are constantly being geared to address many issues that the crypto community still needs to resolve in order to ensure that investors and their money are safe. It seems as well that people need to understand that this issue highlights crypto's most vulnerable point, which are the blockchain bridges. But cryptocurrency still needs these bridges in order to continue transactions with other blockchains. In the case of Axie Infinity, they needed to adopt the bridge software to accelerate transactions within its network, which has seen quite an unprecedented surge over the last year. Aside from added efficiencies, the bridge also allowed Axie to reduce costs, since the Ethereum blockchain is expensive to run on especially with such a huge demand. Bridges provide what seem to be a homing beacon for adventurous and skilled hackers, all because of the complex code within it. It creates plenty of opportunities for exploitable bugs, allowing more chances of successful hacks from attackers. The thing is, in as much as bridges and blockchains are built on immense complex code, so are cryptocurrencies. Crypto isn't just a unit of money that can simply be taken out from a platform and hidden under the bed for safekeeping. They're all written in vaguely different programming languages that exist in different virtual spaces. The interaction of these blockchains itself, even though the bridges can be quite tough to follow, especially between multiple different coins. This makes figuring out what has gone wrong or who is particularly responsible very hard to track because the design or operation of these blockchain bridges remain highly anonymous, from its developers to its validators. As of yet, crypto users should understand that this issue needs to be addressed, with awareness currently being the main point of defense. While these issues have certainly raised concerns, it shouldn't put you down from having faith in the overall cryptocurrency ecosystem. Hackers are attacking bridges now because these are the weakest points in the system, but it might not be soon enough. The crypto industry has done quite a great job at securing just about everything else. We can look to the past and remember how centralized exchanges were the main points of hacking attacks, and the industry found a way to overcome that. With the rate of innovation and the value that cryptocurrency assets now hold, it's more than certain that this bridge concern will most certainly be another issue of the past. So what do you think about explaining crypto's billion dollar bridge problem? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to Crypto World for the necessities of everything related to the crypto economy.